Now, the recent spike in cases of COVID, flu, and RSV, and they call it the triple-demic, along with the ongoing teacher shortages, has one school district weighing a return to remote learning. And as Jenny Joyce reports, the district says it's being proactive in doing whatever it can to keep schools open. So we want to know your thoughts as you watch this story here. Should remote learning still be an option? Weigh in. Fox29.com slash go vote. Remote learning, just one of the tools in their toolbox should Quakertown Community School District need a backup plan amid rising sick outs and teacher shortages. What's going on in Quakertown is going on in school districts across the country. Staffing shortages plus widespread illness. We have the triple whammy. We have COVID, we have the flu, we have RSV. Is making it harder for schools to function. We're short nurses. Um, we have four out tomorrow. Quakertown Community School District Superintendent Dr. Bill Harner says it's down 22 aides due to staffing shortages. Plus, six teachers at one elementary school were out today, prompting coaches, counselors, even a principal to fill in in the classroom. Number one priority, keeping our students safe and our, and our uh, staff and faculty members safe. And if we don't have enough adults in the building to open up schools. You need a plan B. Last week, the Quakertown School Board approved an agreement with the Teachers Association regarding the continued use of yellow alerts, making a switch to virtual learning when staffing levels drop to unmanageable levels. However, Dr. Harner says virtual learning is a last resort. We're just hoping this is just a tool that we never use. Other school districts, including Philly, are proactively planning for a rise of illnesses after winter break. Philly's existing plan states masking could be required after holidays and extended breaks. Tomorrow, Dr. Wallington is expected to address their health plan. The Quaker Town superintendent says masking is not on the table in their school district. They have other strategies in place to keep schools open, like pooling resources district wide, as well as hiring full time teachers to serve as floaters to move around to different classrooms as needed. Reporting for Fox 29 News, I'm Jennifer Joyce.